Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Casey LaHecka. Well, good morning. Uh, off to a pretty nice start right now. Not too bad out there. We do have a little bit of cloud cover, but overall there is some blue still sticking around. And we did have some heavier rain through the overnight for some areas, but overall, unfortunately, the unsettled pattern continues here. But it's not a washout by any means, so that's at least some good news there. Satellite radar showing a bit more widespread rain across the coast right now. And it's very scattered elsewhere, especially farther south. So as the moisture continues to be pulled in from the south, that's what we're going to be looking at later on today. Uh, into the afternoon and evening. We will have some heavier downpours and even a few thunderstorms rolling through. But right now across our region, everything is pretty much dry across the south side, northeast North Carolina. The eastern shore of the peninsula, everything looks good. Just a little bit of rain right along 64 and then uh, where 95 meets at. So otherwise, we're pretty dry right now. We did have that heavier rain overnight and now we're looking pretty good. But the visibility still is reduced across the region because of some patchy dense fog less than three miles into Portsmouth, Chesapeake, and also to Wakefield, but it's starting to get better. So uh, we will continue to see that move out of the region. It's 73 into Suffolk, 73 for Wakefield, 71 Newport News, and 74 into Currituck right now. The dew point's also pretty high, so as you head outside, you will notice the humidity. It will, it will hit you as soon as you get there, so uh, just be aware that the humidity is going to be bad for today. It will get better tomorrow, though. The wind is going to change to come in from the north. That will give us a little bit more drier air, but the wind speed right now coming in at about 5 miles per hour from the south. So here's Future Track taking us into this afternoon. Right around lunchtime, you can see a few scattered showers. It becomes a little bit more numerous by 2 or 3 o'clock and we could even see a few thunderstorms or heavy downpours as well. And then by dinner time, it still is um, pretty widespread, but we could also pick up on a few more thunderstorms by that point around 6, 7 o'clock. And then it pretty much moves out by 10, 11 o'clock, and it will become pretty scattered throughout early Tuesday morning. Other than that, the clouds start to clear out. We'll see more sunshine throughout the afternoon on Tuesday. It looks pretty good. And then as we head into Wednesday morning, we'll stay dry as well for a little bit more rain moves in later in the day on Wednesday. But how much rain are we talking about from this? Well, only about a quarter of an inch, maybe to a half inch max. We're not talking about anything that will cause flooding across the region, but with the already high amounts of rain that we've had the past couple of days, that does add on the fact that there could be some ponding on the roadways. Now, if you're headed out on the water today, not too bad out there. The wind will be out of the southwest or the south at 10 to 15 knots, seas at four to five feet. So we do have that small craft advisory in place. High tide will be at 9.53. Low tide is at 4 o'clock this afternoon. 7-day forecast, low 80s today, upper 70s tomorrow on and off rain throughout the morning hours on Tuesday. Then some more rain moves back in by Wednesday afternoon and evening. Then finally comes to an end early Thursday morning. We'll be drying out after that with more sunshine on the way. 